Whenever an extreme weather event impacts society through flooding or excessive heat, for example, people ask the question whether human-induced climate change played a role. Scientists are now able to answer this question for many different extreme weather events. However, the answer you will get depends on how exactly you ask the question. In this commentary we discuss how the attribution question determines the answer. Human-induced climate change can alter the weather in two different ways. Firstly, with raising temperatures we expect more heat waves on average and warmer air can also hold more water vapor so we expect more heavy downpours. However, these so-called thermodynamic effects can locally be counteracted or increased by changes in the atmospheric circulation. This is a second effect. For example, climate change can alter the atmospheric circulation in such a way that the low pressure systems that used to come into a certain region from the sea and bring rain do not reach that region as often as they used to. So the net effect of human-induced climate change on extreme rainfall in that region would be negative and the risk of such rainfall extremes decreased. To look into the details of such classes of events and in particular to quantify how the overall risk of a particular type of extreme event has changed, we need climate models. The state-of-the-art climate models are very good in simulating the thermodynamic effect, but on average they are less good in representing the atmospheric circulation well. Some scientists therefore suggested not to try and look at the circulation at all, but just as the effect of higher average temperatures. The attribution question they ask is, given the circulation state of the atmosphere at the time of the event, how did the overall warming influence the event? The answer to this question does not say anything about how likely the atmosphere is ever going to be in that state again. It could be a state that happens at least once a year, or a state we will observe again in 500 years' time. If a stakeholder, for example, seeks information on disaster risk reduction strategies, they might ask the question, how did climate change alter the overall risk of the event occurring? To answer this question, scientists need to look at both the thermodynamic effect from the overwarming and the effect of human-induced climate change on the atmospheric circulation. Thanks to recent developments in the science of event attribution with new methods and the use of independent models, it is possible to quantify this overall effect of climate change for some classes of extreme events.